Stashies tutorials here, bringing you how to mood edit in 2018. There's been a lot of mood edits recently, and it's been about two years since I made how to make a Vine AMV edit. And I just thought, you know, make a sec second part of that since Vine's dead and no one makes Vine edits anymore than make mood edits and AMVs and whatnot. Oh, voice crack. All right, whatever. Um, so yeah, if you're here, if you're a subscriber for my music video tutorials, I hope you can learn something from this. Um, it's not, you generally don't use these effects in music videos. You generally use them for, you know, mood edits and AMVs. But if you're really creative, you can definitely use it in your music videos. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. If you want to see... Today I'm just showing you how to do the transitions I used in the mood edit, um, but if you want to see how I did more of it, subscribe and put the notification on. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, just subscribe and be. Pre and I'm going to bring out more tutorials on how to do the rest of the mood edit. I already have my marker set in place of where my where I want my transitions to be. So I all I did is I looked at the waveform and then just put markers in each in front of each waveform. That's just an easy way to tell your transitions are. And right now my clip looks like this, right? Okay, so the plugins you need for this tutorial are going to be Sapphire and Real Smart Motion Blur. Now Sapphire, you pretty much only need one effect from it, but you're still going to need it anyway. And Real Smart Motion Blur, you don't really need it to do the effect, but I think it makes your edits look, you know, better and it makes it look smoother. Just so you guys know. Um, so yeah, make sure you go go and get those two plugins first so yeah for you really need those plugins because those are the main ones we're going to use and the main one we're going to use from sapphire is blur motion curves blur mo curves and i already have these presets out here i might just show them to you guys and you guys can copy them but we can also do it by default so the first one to do is i'm going to do a zoom out transition so how that works is i'm just going to copy this zoom out preset right here and then you guys can see it you guys can copy this. Make sure you have reflect on right here, and make sure you have the sub pixel on. I just like to have that on. Uh, blur resolution, make it full, and that's it. This this one's pretty simple because it's just a, uh, you know, just a zoom out. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to click this little icon right here for the z distance, since that's the, pretty much the only thing we changed. Click that right there. Now for these transitions, I um, it's all preference on how many keyframes you want it because we're going to have to mess with the keyframes and stuff as well, but I like to keep mine from 5 to 7 keyframes. So for this one, I'm going to do about 5, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then since I already clicked this, all I need to do is just change this to 1, and that'll be it. I forgot to change this back, so I don't. I forgot to make a keyframe back here, so I'm going to change that to um, this. Let me zoom out. There we go. Um, I think I need to delete this keyframe because it doesn't look like it's okay. So now if you look at our our thing, it'll look like this. Okay, um, let me mute this music first so it doesn't know you guys the whole time. Okay. Okay, so now we need to change that a little bit because it doesn't look that good. So what we can do is we're going to need to mess with the keyframes. So what I like to do is I like to have... I like to make the keyframes kind of like a curve, and I like to make it like this curve, like a U, U shape. Uh, so what that is, is I like to have it slow down here, then ramp up in speed, have it fast, and then ramp, and ramp it down back to slow. So we're pretty much going to do that. So I'm going to change this to slow fade, and then I'm going to change this to the fast fade. Now this is all subjective, and however you guys like it. I just like it this way, and this is like just a general way a lot of people use it. Um, but you can also use smooth, you can use hold, and it's all de it all depends on your clip and the edit you want it. So let's look at it now. So right now, that's the first effect. I might bring this up, the zoom out a little bit more, just so it gives it more of an effect. So right now, that's our zoom out. So since we zoomed out on this clip, what we can do is we can zoom out on the next clip, which is the way I like to do it, but you can also have it zoomed out first and then zoom in. But um, I'm just going to make it zoom out, if that makes sense. I'll sh it'll make more sense once I explain it. So I'm going to drag the same keyframe, or the same preset, um, onto the second clip. But instead of this time, I'm going to turn this, I'm going to keyframe this, right? Here, let me go so I can see something. And I'm going to change this to about 0.633. Let me delete this. Okay, so now it's at 0 0.633. I'm going to go 5 frames to the right now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 
and then I'm just gonna change this to one and so if you look at it right now it'll look something like this which is kind of like smooth transition but to make it more smooth like I said I, I want to have it like a bell curve so I'm gonna change this to fast and I'm gonna change this to slow and that's pretty smooth zoom out or yeah zoom out transition um, if you once if you start getting more advanced into this you can change this you can mess with these frames and then it'll mess with kind of the graph you can change this to slow right here and then change this to fast if you want it to hold certain like if you want this zoom to be or this zoom in to be held longer and then it'll go to fast which you can kind of tell it zooms in and goes fast or I can change this to slow as well so it'll look something like that or I can change both of these to I can change this to smooth but that's more that's you'll literally learn more of that once you start practicing and start making edits and stuff okay so let's start with the twisting rotation or twisting the rotating transition um, and like I said again you can probably just copy my uh, presets but uh, you know you can make your own as well so I'm just gonna use this one right here and then this one there's gonna be more things to copy I believe the shutter duration is 1.5 instead of 1 uh, the brightness is up a little bit as well and I make sure these are in reflect and make sure this is the distance is 0.96 and the rotation is 45 okay so now if we so now since everything that we changed right here I'm just gonna keyframe all of these to for, make sure you get the rotation shutter duration and uh, brightness okay now I'm gonna go make sure you make a keyframe right here because we didn't do that last time go five frames to the left one two three four five and then I'm just gonna put the default on since nothing's happening in the default okay so now if you look at it and then here let me just delete the front of the Of the keyframe so nothing changes so now we'll have something like this and it's not on reflect oh it's because I click default so make sure on your default uh, make sure you have ref reflect on so click the reflect on and there we go so now you have reflect and it looks something like this now what the exposure does is you see how it got brighter um, this, we're going to have the same brightness on the second clip as well. It's going to give it an extra oomph, like a, like, you know, it's, oh, it's bright, like a flash kind of. Uh, you don't have to have the brightness on it. It's just my personal opinion or preference. Um, sometimes I won't have it on. Yeah. So I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to make sure a U shape with these going fast and these going slow. So what I did is I just clicked on one, held control, or I held control on my keyboard, clicked one, and then just checked all of them down. And then just right clicked and clicked fast fade. Do the same thing right here. Make sure these are slow. And then now, if you look at our transition, it'll look something like this. Okay. And everything, like every transition, we're gonna have to make sure the second one uh, follows this. But but the thing is, with the rotation one, instead of copying the same preset, you're gonna want to make this negative 45 degrees okay and then now we just have to keyframe the same distance shutter duration and brightness and then we're gonna go to the right one two three four five maybe six more change this to one change this rotation to zero change this shutter duration to one change the brightness to one okay so now if you look at our transition it'll look something like this a rotating transition now same thing make sure you add you transform your keyframes I'm doing the control thing again these are fast go out here and then these are slow so now if you look at it it'll look something like that okay and uh, there's an extra brightness to it so it adds you know looks super cool okay so the last transition I did is the slide down transition. You can also make it go up, you can make it go wherever you want, but I just, I'm doing it slide down. So I'm gonna show you my preset right here. I drag that on. 
you guys can copy this. These are just my presets and the way I like them. Uh, the only thing I changed really is the shift Y and the shutter duration. And I guess the brightness a little bit. Um, but here, you guys, I just showed you the brightness and the rotation. So I'm just going to take that off. Okay, so I'm just going to keyframe these, both of these. And like I said earlier, go one, two, three, four, five. Let's go six this time. Actually, here, let's go back to the beginning. Make a keyframe, and then now we go one, two, three, four, five, six. Change this to zero, and this to one. So now, if you look at our transition, he starts going down, and then do the same thing again. It's all a lot of these are really cookie cutter, um, but that's not where you get you know really good good edits from. You get them from creativity. But here's just how to start. You know, knowing the technicals. I have. Once I put when I put the preset on, I didn't keyframe the front, so let me do, delete those keyframes. So now, if you look at it, boom, it goes down, and then you have to you have to finish the transition off. So I'll slide down number two, and I have this one like this. You can copy these. This one's a little bit more down, which is how I like it. But you again, everything's you can change. Uh, copy these two. And I guess copy the brightness because I like I did that too, and I did one two three four five six, okay, and then this goes down to zero, this goes down to one, and this goes down to one as well, okay. Now second thing again, or let me control and click all these keyframes, slow, control, all these keyframes. And fast okay so now if you look at it we have this zoom down and it kind of zoom downs and zooms up at the same time with a little like flash and yeah so once you've done all your transitions and you've done all of them what you need to and you've done all your zooms whatever you, you've done everything you need to add real smart motion blur I hinted this toward this at the, in the beginning of the video um, what this does, you can copy my settings. I think I stole them from someone, but they're pretty good settings. Um, what this does is adds more motion blur and realistic motion blur. That's the name of the program or the plugin to your edits, and it just gives it more of a smoother effect. And it's kind of, it's really, you can kind of tell when someone has it and when someone doesn't have it. Granted, you can make good edits without it, but I just recommend having it, and it's just, it'll make your edits look better. So right now, if you look at it with the effect on, it it looks smoother. So if you take it off, some people can't really notice it, but you know I can notice it. Yeah, and I just recommend it having it on. It just gives it a smoother thing. And all right, that's basically it for this first part of this how to mood edit tutorial on transitions. If you want more and how I did the first mood edit, uh, subscribe because I'm going to be putting out more. If you're here for my music video tutorials, I'm still putting music video tutorials. You can use some of the things I said here today in your music videos and, you know, try to spice it up and everything. And, yeah, like and comment and subscribe. Peace out later.